mkanya utelewa njlebeni lebo wa palimit pezu wae. Mtu mzangi nzako mazalisa na zota kakalama fulo gazba kumbuna matotavo. Uze ngwele, ngena para pia gashedi uzo tulumbuso wa mkudu mkudu. Yeah, today, I would like to speak to you about love. But not love on a romance perspective. Now we are talking about love, energy. The, the energy that flows within all things, the energy that relates within all things, the energy that joins all things. The Buddhists, they talk about the cessation of the dukkha, the death of suffering. And with the death of suffering comes the realization of eternal and perpetual love until the end of time. And this end of time is your existence. So what is this suffering? Um, expectations that we have of the world, of ourselves, and those around us. So when we are not able to relate to ourselves, we will have unrelate. We, what is the word? We will have unmeasurable expectations of ourselves and we will not be able to relate with the world around us, thus being detached from reality. So for us to be able to do this, we must be able to love ourselves first. Once we love ourselves, we will be able to, re will be able to relate with the other individual because inside of me is the Almighty, and inside of you, is the Almighty. And if I relate with the, with the Almighty inside of myself, I will be able to relate with you on a very intimate level that even transcend physical or sexual interactions. And that is what we are talking about, love. For a healer to heal someone, they must be able to have love because you will come to us with all types of mannerisms and plethoras of diseases and Things that me personally, I don't want to see when I am relaxing or in my comfortable space, but I must be able to put myself in your shoes and I cannot put myself in your shoes if I cannot love you as stranger as you are. Myself as a priest, I cannot bless you knowing of your transgressions because you must confess. Melu shambuluge, noma uz shambulule. I must love you despite of what you have shared to me or with me of your nature. But also in everyday situations, we must be able to detach ourselves from what people experience so that we are able to help them. We must be able to understand that love, even the one that causes us to marry, love is a cement that joins two individual strong bricks together. So you, as an individual, must be independently strong, without traumas, without, without, um, babies and lento, low self-esteem. You must be of high esteem, you know, be a fully contributing member, so that when another fully contributing member that is fully grown within themselves holistically comes, the cement, which is called love, joins you and you create this wall. In all cultures, there is a wall where different nations came and built a wall to keep them apart from other peoples who came to destroy them. This love is a cement that joins us. But also this love is also personal. The things that we put ourselves, the lifestyle that we live, our health choices are because of the lack of love within us, the individuals. What we do to, to other people in the society, the crime, the hate, the racism and everything, it, it is not because the society was built that way or we were taught that. It is because you, inside yourself, have a problem. I always say that, yes, Ubuntu, of a room and to a wrong or onina insult you with the highest insult in the whole relatable universe. The ones who will have a problem, Abazo Paramu, hey, 
Lo ung biza are the ones who have a problem within themselves. Individuals like myself, who have transcended the suffering and entered the state of nirvana, never ending and perpetual happiness, you will look at this individual and say, this fool. And that is what love does. And love is as love does. So watch how those who say they love you or spaces which you say you are loved in, how they treat you. Then you will understand what it is that you need to do for yourself. Without, yes, advice is good, but without being advised. Because inside of you is the almighty. And true knowledge comes from inside of you. Because God loves us all. And God is love. And let us all love. And that is my unpopular opinion.